Hey, what's good, viewer? This is Spanky, and today we're going to be looking at NECA's Savante Ramiro from their TMNT Mirage comic book line. We'll take a quick look at the packaging. We got some cool comic book art here on the side. Then we get a look at the actual figure on the back and some figures to come. This is going to be the Wanderer. Can't remember him, but Foot Ninja, some more comic book art. And I don't know much about this character, but this device here looks a lot. I don't know anything about this character, but this looks a lot like the time travel device from the third Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. So I'm almost wondering if he is some type of magic user that can travel through time. Maybe he is the character who sends the turtles, you know, back to like the dinosaur age. I think that is, you know, in the video game. And I think it actually does happen in the comics. While we've still got Savanti still in his plastic prison, the clamshell here is a good way to show and display everything we're gonna get. This looks kind of like a green fireball wizard effect. Looks like it's probably gonna attach, yeah, to his hand. And then we get some Bubbles, I guess. <laughs> Bubbles, his staff. And this is kind of crazy. This is the first NECA figure that I've ever seen. I don't know if that actually came with the stand here. I was kind of a pleasant surprise when I opened this up. That is really nice because I have a whole shelf of NECA turtle figures that just have a real problem with standing. Looks like we're going to get, including the ones he already has, three interchangeable hands. While we've got them fresh out the package, just take a peek at the sculpts here. It's looking really, really good. The paint app's looking good. We got the hairs on the arms and the extra details on the face. I'll try to get a little close up here. Not too late. We got some more detail in the back, some shading right here on the back of the legs and in here as well, which is it's just really nice. What a really nice figure. It's a good thing it came with the stand because he's got hood feet. So I think it'd be kind of a pain to actually get him to stand on his own without the actual stand that the figure comes with. So good job, Neck on that. Good forward thinking. Just want to give you all a little bit better look at the sculpting on the face and the rest of the body. The legs, the hair on the legs is looking real good. Yeah, even the horns, they've got some texture to them. Whew. Got some spikes on the shoulders. Very, very well done. As I mentioned, he comes with three sets of hands, including the fists that he has. These are the open palm grabbing type hands. Here's the third set. These are gonna hold his staff and whatever else you can think that you might want him to hold. I just wanted y'all to take a quick peek at the detail on this figure. Even the hand has some shading. You see some extra like darker pinks there in the middle, some little bumps. So I did just like a little bit of research and this is a time traveling device and he is a time traveling demon along with Renette, which I have that figure, but I didn't do any review on it, but he is a time traveling demon. Look at this hand grasping this, that's crazy. I wonder if that's like his hand or if he stole it from somebody else. Apparently there's not like a lot of back history on this figure, but this is really cool. And this is an accessory that is gonna attach to one of his hands. Honestly, there's nothing more that peeves me more about action figures when they don't stand on their own and accessories that don't fit is another big pet peeve of action figures of mine, but both of these hands fit very snug in there. I don't think you'll have any problems with that. They just, they go in there, they're molded well, and they seem to just, they don't think they're gonna fall out. So this last little effect here, the bubbles, is just gonna be like a time traveling effect here. It looks looks pretty sweet. Doesn't look exactly like the comic book, the way it's displayed on the package or in the comic book panels on the package, but it serves its purpose and I, I do like the way it looks. I kind of wish um, it was more complete. Maybe like if it slipped on, so we didn't have this ugly gap here, but I guess if you kind of just move it around this way and display the figure like that, you're not gonna really notice. Getting into articulation, we'll start with the feet. Get a little nitpicky here. There is a little bit of color break. It's not a huge deal. At least it's brown, not a different color. But his hooves will go. They get a lot of good articulation there. It's kind of hard to see because it's such a dark figure there on the bottom. Knee. Now this is actually starting to feel a little bit different than most NECA figures are handled. I feel like I feel like maybe NECA has 
worked out some kinks with the articulation. It's just feeling a little bit smoother and not as like, like you have to boil it in water. I know some people do that. I've never done that. I feel like if you get a figure, it should just come prepared. And I shouldn't have to boil my figures just to articulate them. I feel like that's kind of a, a crazy concept there. But this does feel a little bit more fluid. And I've had issues in the past where I've opened, or I'm not open, but I go back to my old figures and I take off the hand. And this is pretty much exclusively a NECA figure. And I pull them off and it broke um, the actual kind of, uh, let's see this articulation here while we're going through it. It broke this part of it and just completely detached, which is kind of unfortunate. But hopefully NECA has worked out some of these kinks. It just, it feels different. I can't explain why it feels different i just once you get in hand hopefully you can maybe notice a difference so hopefully NECA is doing some quality assurance issues there and figuring out their stuff because if you know NECA kind of has a history of using a little bit cheaper plastic i guess i, I just i don't know i've never had figures break as much as my NECA figures do which is unfortunate because a lot of them go for pretty good value get some good jaw articulation there so that is seems like hopefully hopefully they've figured that out a bit this will go all the way around but i don't want to mess with this horn the jar articulation overall this is a wonderful figure it's great the sculpts and all the paint apps everything looks really really good they've knocked out a few of the gripes that i've already you know would normally have with a NECA figure um and just figures in general like that stand that's that was an awesome touch i really thank NECA for adding that uh, that this flame effect or green sorcery effect, slashing effect, whatever you want to call it, came out really good. If I were to pick out nitpick something, this is kind of loose. It doesn't stay on very well, but it stays on good enough. So I'll put that as a neutral. The, the main negative about this figure is the $45 price tag that comes with it. And that's, that's hefty. I mean, this is a six inch figure. It's not bigger than the other turtle figures. It kind of just goes straight across the line as just your, your average six inch figure when it comes to the NECA, Mirage, TMNT comic line. And that just seems really steep. I feel like I remember buying the, uh, my name, the bigger figures, just say that. I'm not gonna say any specific names, but the bigger figures, I feel like those cost $45. And for such a lesser known character, it kind of has me questioning where they came up with that price. It's not like it's, I, I don't know. It doesn't seem like the $45, the $45 price doesn't seem really justified, but overall I do love it and I'm going to highly recommend it to y'all. I am quickly running out of space. I have a bunch more figures I need to open. He should probably be over there next to Renette, but let's get him added to the Mirage. Very careful. I don't want to knock anything down and I think he looks good there. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more reviews. Peace.